Good afternoon. We are going to be doing together a demonstration of another SketchUp assignment. This assignment is a turtle sandbox. Uh, it's pretty basic, very easy. If you've done the pirate ship playhouse already, this will be easy for you. If you've not, this is a good introduction to SketchUp. So let's go on to SketchUp. The best way to get there is to go through edu, type in edu.sketchup, there it is, .com slash app, and you won't have to go through any silly questions, and it will load up for you. When it loads, let's create new, create new in feet and inches. Let's start by saving, because this program does not save uh, for you. Type in your name and then type in our project. This is the turtle sandbox. And we can make it into a sandbox. We can make it into a pool, whatever we want to make it into. Find a good place to save it. I'll save it in classroom and I will pick the class that I'm in and I'll save it there so I can find it later. First thing we're going to do is get rid of the man. Click on the man and you can click. When you click on him, he lights up in blue. Click backspace on your keyboard. Now down the left side, we have all of these different tools and we're going to use different ones throughout. Come over here. It says rectangle and clustered under the rectangle are some different options. We're going to select the circle. Come over to our origin where all of our axes meet, our X, our Y, and our Z, Z axis, okay? Blue axis, green, and red. And we're gonna click at that origin and we're going to move out five feet. Type it into your keyboard before you click again. Five feet and hit return. Now, if you've messed up, then uh, no problem. Come up here, click the back button, and it will start over for you. Make sure you're still on circle. If not, come select circle, click on our origin, move out without clicking, type five feet. Remember, feet is one uh, apostrophe. Hit return or enter. And there we go. We are moving along uh, with our project. Let's stay with the circle. And we're gonna put four circles here. One, let's type in our size. We want this to be one foot. Let's put one here, one foot. One foot, one foot. And now we're gonna make the head of the turtle. Grab the orbit tool. So it's down here at the bottom. This is the orbit tool. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can hold down the scroll wheel and move your mouse. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to select the orbit tool and click your mouse and come around. Okay, I'm going to zoom out using my mouse. You can also come here and this will zoom for you. Click where you want, move your mouse ahead and back. You can pan around using the hand. We can pick an area that we want to zoom to by clicking and dragging. Or if we are totally lost, Let's get lost. And you don't know where you are and how to get out. I lost my object. I don't know where I am. Oh, there it is. I don't know where I am. Come back here and this bottom guy will bring you up, up close and personal. Time to make the head of our turtle. Let's come to this end. Let's click and we're going to move all the way over and we are going to click 
right here where we are meeting. Okay, so maybe you can start to see the turtle forming in your imagination. Now we're going to come in with the eraser. The eraser is near the top underneath of our arrow. Click on the eraser and we are going to start erasing some of the lines. So you see the little circle on the end of my eraser. We are going to leave this circle. We're going to get rid of that line. Let's zoom in and get rid of this line. We are also going to get rid of this line. We are going to get rid of all of these little inside lines. Okay, leave these. Oops, I messed up on that first one, didn't I? I'm getting rid of all these inside guys. Get rid of this. Getting rid of all the inside semicircles. Okay. Next, we're going to come over here. This is, uh, it says push pull under our circle where we, our rectangles and circles are clustered. Click on here. And now we're going to pick the bottom one. This is called offset. Click there. Come to the inside of our turtle. And if you come to the inside of the turtle, you are going to see that area turn gray or blue. Click. And now we're going to offset this one foot. Okay, we've created an offset. Now we're going to come back in and grab our eraser one more time. And let's get rid of these little extra inclusions on the end. All right. The next thing we want to do is we're going to add some three dimensional depth to this. Come back to where we picked our offset and in there is the push pull, the top one. Click there. Come over top the inside, click and let's come up maybe eight inches. And now you can see we've got some depth to what we are trying to do. Come over to the head and let's match it. Let's lock on to one of the endpoints. It should be eight, but we can see that we can grab this. We can lock on to a point and it will pick the height for us. So now we've moved from 2D into 3D. Let's add some colors. If we come to the paint bucket, a new menu opens up on the right side. Let's select the brows right here next to the house. When we do that, now we're going to be able to add some things. So let's start by adding some synthetic surfaces. You choose the color that you want to make your sandbox. I'm going to go blue, 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 blue. Click everywhere. Click, 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 click. Click here, click here. Now, how am I going to get to those other areas? I'm going to have to orbit around. You'll see when we orbit that there are several areas we didn't catch. Look, including the inside. Let's orbit around so we can get as much as possible in one shot. Now, if I've forgotten what color I've chosen, come back here, select this dropper. It will sample the material and we'll select it for me so I can copy what I had there before already. Okay, scroll around, make sure we didn't miss anywhere. We're good there. Don't forget the bottom. Let's do the bottom. It's okay that that's a platform instead of filled solid. Um, what material am I using? I forget. Come here, pick the dropper, select. Let's get that inside. So I'm not missing anywhere. Rotate around. Don't want to miss anything. Excellent. 
All right, let's add a nice little wrinkle here. Let's go back to the offset. And let's go in eight inches. And let's lift the outside up again. Offset. Let's lift it up and we're going to go up another eight inches. All right. We're making a sandbox. Let's make a little pool in here too. So I'm going to come over. I'm going to select my paint bucket again. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to come in and let's pick landscaping. We'll find some sand. Here's some sand for the inside. And if I go all the way down, there's some water here. Pick the water you like. Put the water in there. And now our turtle is looking pretty good. Um, there's some things we can also add that have already been built and already part of this. So let's go to the 3D warehouse, these three boxes to find some components. We'll search in the warehouse, sketch up for schools, help if I could type, beach ball. Here's a beach ball. Click on it and let's put it where we want. Let's put it in here. If I want to change the size, I can come down and scale it. Type in scale. Scale will be right in here. If you ever don't remember where something is, you can type it in using our magnifying glass over here. It will tell you where it is. I've got it clustered under the move button. And now with that, I can make my beach ball bigger or smaller. I can pick the move button again. And we can move this and set this where we might want. Let's sink it down in the sand a little. Beach ball. How about sand shovel? No sand shovel. Here's a shovel. Just type in shovel, shovel and bucket. Select it where we want, and there we go. Let's zoom out. Don't forget to save. Make sure that you've got everything covered. It's through the bottom. That's okay. We've saved it. Now, what's our next step? Let's go to our classroom, and we'll attach it to our assignment. Find the class that we're in. This guy's in dummy class. You pick the class you want to attach your work to. Go to coursework, find your turtle sandbox assignment, view assignment, add or create, add from Google Drive. It should be the first thing that shows up in your recent. If not, you'll have to go into my drive and find it in the classroom where you saved it. Click insert. When it loads, you're gonna mark it as done. Turn in, turn in and we have completed our assignment. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know and we'll see you in the next video.